the term, also relevant to the leaves, known as or called uh, deciduous. We say that hardwood trees are deciduous, which means that these trees lose their leaves throughout the seasons. Right? So, two things to remember about the leaves of the hardwood trees they are broad in shape and they will eventually be shed throughout the season. Alright, in comparison to that of the softwood tree, visual reference, If one was to analyze the structure of the leaves of any softwood tree, we would then be able to realize that these leaves are much thinner in comparison to that of the hardwood tree. Right? So one could go as far as to describe them as needle like. So they are very thin. And one key term that is also used to describe um, the leaves are relevant to the structure of the leaves of the softwood tree is that this tree is evergreen. And what that means is that no matter what season it is, straight throughout winter, summer, spring, or fall, these leaves remain. Green, right? This tree doesn't shed its leaves throughout the winter. So we said that hardwood trees, the leaves are broad and it is deciduous, which means it sheds its leaves. And we said that the softwood trees, leaves are thin and needle like and they remain evergreen. Right? Now, when we go further to analyze this tree, one thing that you must also know is that hardwood trees are those which bear their seeds in fruits, right? So these trees oftentimes grow fruits. While on the other hand, with the softwood tree, these trees are what we call coniferous. Which means that these trees bear their seeds in cones, right? So you note know the difference. One bears its seeds in fruits, and the other bears its seeds in cones. Alright. Now continue. One more key element that must be noted, right? When we are looking at the distinction between hardwood and softwood trees are the climatic areas in which these trees tend to grow. Now, for hardwood trees, these trees tend to grow in more warm climates, right? So they grow in warm areas. So for example, if you were to think of the areas around the Caribbean, these trees would be prominent in those areas. Um, the softwood trees, on the other hand, these trees tend to grow in colder climates, right? So if you were to even think about it, right? Um, as we were have discussed, if you even look at the shape of my visual aid of the softwood tree, it would jump out and remind you of a Christmas tree, right? You would know that trees bearing resemblance to the softwood tree is often found in colder regions, right? So just to recap what we said, hardwood trees, first thing to note, they have broad leaves, right? 
versus some fruit trees with the small needle-like leaves. The hybrid trees lose their leaves throughout the seasons, and the term we use to this, um, describe that is they are deciduous. While on the other hand, some fruit trees are evergreen, which means they keep their leaves green straight throughout the season. Hybrid trees bear their seeds in fruits, while some fruit trees bear their seeds in cones. Alright? Hybrid trees grow in warmer climates. While some fruit trees grow in colder regions. Alright? And once we are able to remember these defining factors, we should be able to go out anywhere and differentiate which tree is a hardwood versus that of the softwood category.